Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Friday, February 16th, 2018. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Friday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right now, we've seen a nice continuation to the upside. We easily surpassed our 270375 target after the double bottom here. The idea was that we'd likely come back to the mid. But we also knew we had a good shot at testing this pivot high as well. And price actually closed beyond that pivot high. Uh, I mentioned before that the market um, not usually will just continue on this way. Instead, what we'll, it will do is, is pop back and perhaps even retest that low and build out a little bit before perhaps attempting to test or retrade that prior high, uh, especially after such a dramatic sell-off. That's usually the case. But clearly the market has been um, bullish here over the last week. And now we have to see can price establish acceptance basically above this pivot high right here. That pivot high being the 26.75. So 27, 26.75. That's the key level to watch right there. If there's any failure to hold above that level, there could be a rejection first back towards 69 quarter and then perhaps even on down the line toward the next downside target. So this is going to be something to watch. Obviously, we've had a very strong market here in the short term and in the long term. Uh, but over the last few weeks here, obviously, we've had quite a pullback. That's causing a little shakeout here. And again, um, price likely needs to retrade a little bit of these price levels down here. So it's not going to be uncommon to see this thing reject these highs. But again, we got to let the market prove it right now. Holding above those highs would suggest a return back toward the previous close, which would be a significant reject, uh, return and potential rejection as well. All right, let's take a look here at the NQ. The NQ has been much more bullish. Uh, we were looking at uh, tech stocks, social media stocks, a lot of strength in the market here over the last few days in those industry groups. You see a very nice continuation higher indeed after a failed new low right into the LVN, just like what we mentioned. Right after this day, we mentioned, you know, it might not be soon. It might take a few days. It might take a week or a month. But when it comes down here to retest that LVN below this key range low, that could be a great buy. And it happened much sooner than anybody anticipated happening a couple of days later. Big time reversal. And we easily got back to the 66.53 midpoint. Now here's the prior pivot high. And price closed well beyond it and actually pushed a little bit higher today. So... Uh, very strong market again. We have a clear LVN right here, which is in the 6860 zone. That's going to be important to watch right there. Uh, that's basically uh, the last line of defense here for the Bears. They were able to take it offered here after it was support. Now they're returning to keep it resistance. At the very least, we could see a little bit of pullback here toward yesterday's mid. Uh, that would be about as far as you go here before bulls may try to pick it back up and try to walk it higher again. So uh, that's going to be a key pivot to watch right here. That's 68.60. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Crude oil, very interesting, turning quite bullish here on this session right there. That was the day where things turned around big time. The next day was able to hold market structure and maintain acceptance above the $60 level, which is the previous month's low. Nice little box formation or turnaround. Uh, so as long as pricing continue to hold that 60, 60, 19 zone, this thing could walk itself right back to 63 and as high as that 64.38, which is the FOMC key level from January. So again, what we know with these key levels are is that when price moves away from it, Whenever it stops going in that direction, it usually comes right back to that level a high percentage of the time. And if it doesn't test it right on the button, then it gets very, very close. Most of the time, it goes right to it. So that could be a level that could be in play here if price can continue to hold above this previous month's low right here, 60, 19. All right, let's take a look real quick at gold. You can see here gold right now basically testing the previous high yet again, 1362. Uh, right down here when price attempted to reject that high yet again, uh, I mentioned that there could be a, a downward move. But when price failed to hold that high by the end of the day, the trade was broken and now suggested a move back up within the range. We definitely got that. And it all started on a failed new low. That failed new low right there led to a major squeeze 
all in one day. Yesterday was a digestion hold day. Today you see a push through that 1362 key range high and now a, a rotation back down. That looks like it is the beginning of rejection, but again, we gotta continue to watch. The level to watch here is 1360 for signs of rejection. That's kind of the key pivot. That's yesterday's high, that's today's midpoint. Obviously 62 would be the longer term pivot to watch. Now, if this thing starts to find rejection in this zone, which is very easily could be the case because remember 1375 is a big time CLVN above, just a multi-year level. Right now, this is also a big time zone. If price can't push through there, we likely get a rotation back to 1340, maybe even back as low as 1317. So watch this zone up here for the potential to reject and perhaps return back down the range. All right, here lastly is Bitcoin. Right now, Bitcoin uh, making a nice move all the way back up. We knew that this thing had a shot to retest the FOMC key level. Case in point, it dropped away from it. It was 99.20, bottomed out at 58.80, and it came right back to it. That's why I mentioned before we have a really good shot at reaching 9,900 to 10,000. And we got 10,000 yesterday, getting into about 10 to 30, 10 to 20 as the high. Today's high is 10 320. So really nice. Uh, this is what we expected. And now the hard part comes in. Can it find acceptance above 10K? Um, if so, then there might be a move to 12K because that's the next price distribution up. But this is a clear LVN right there. And again, that's the clear separator between uh, these two major distributions. Does it trade back up here or does it instead stay down below 12K? So 10K is going to be very, very important now. And it's going to be interesting to see if uh, bulls can keep this thing bid or do bears come in and defend off the trigger zone here. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this plays out heading into the long holiday weekend. Enjoy the long weekend and I'll see you soon. Take care.